Okay, this is John Vinson, Columbus, Indiana. Uh, I was out earlier today with my uh, zipkits.com sea monkey for its uh, maiden flight. And uh, we started out at, another guy was with me, Gary Waters. And we started out at a place called Round Pond in Columbus uh, at Millrace Park. And that's what you see in front of you right now. Uh, what I did was I, I actually ended up taking with three separate videos and right now you're looking at a recording I, I loaded those downloaded those three videos to my computer and I'm now recording and uh, the, the best parts of all three and uh, making one video out of it uh, in it and I'm actually turning about uh, 40 minutes worth of video it's going to end up being I don't know somewhere between probably 12 to 18, 19 uh, minutes. So anyhow, uh, I'm going to uh, start this video and uh, uh, you can uh, watch it for yourselves. Again, it's my, uh, my zipkits.com uh, sea monkey. Uh, and I'm ready to go, here it goes. And this is the, uh, this is the maiden. Actually, we've got, we've got two flights. I've got two flights. Here's the here's the first one. Kind of a wild takeoff. But it made it. I don't know that I've ever seen a 360 followed with a takeoff. Can you reach over here? That's flying pretty good once it gets the hell out. Boy, it's touching. Son of a bitch, it's touching. And uh, pardon for the uh, too, language. I got a little excited there. The guy's the guy's name I think is Joe at Zip Kits is Joe Petro. I think I think it's Petro. I double checked the name. It is, yes, it is Joe Petro. All the voices you hear in the background, that's a group of uh, about 10 people decided to come up and uh, about 30 feet from us, uh, they're taking picture photographs of themselves. I suppose it's, uh, they probably had family in for Thanksgiving and so they came down to uh, what we call Round Pond and, uh, and the reason we call it Round Pond is because it's a complete circle, although you can't really tell that from this video. But anyhow, they're back there taking pictures, so that's the that's the background voices that you hear. At the covered bridge you see in the for in the background, that uh, that bridge was moved here from I I don't know that I need to soften the throws up some. The bridge was moved here from uh, someplace else. And uh, unfortunately, probably 15, 18 years ago, some vandals set fire to it and really caused a lot of damage. Uh, the, the upper structure, the superstructure, the, not the superstructure, but the upper portion of the, of the bridge was completely destroyed. But that's all been refurbished. Now I'm bringing the plane in for a landing. Nice soft landing. Very good. And I'm going to shut uh, this video. I'm shutting it off at 2150. And that would be right there. Okay, now I'm going to uh, drop this, get rid of this uh, video. I'm going to the second one. 
and I'll be starting it at uh, I'm picking it up at 11 minutes then so let me get it started okay, here the uh, battery was had run down uh, okay there's you know over here there's uh, nine the minutes there's 10 for 10 uh, 10 42 10 50 okay, okay here we so go that's good it was a successful flight a successful flight of the zipkits.com sea monkey I had a lot of fun putting it together and so far it's been uh, a good experience and it's only going to get better because I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the front end I'm going to give it a little bit more see how it stops right there abruptly I'm going to bring it on up I'm going to extend this let me set it down here well, I can't I'll do it on the car I'll show you when I get to the car what I'm going to add to it the natural slope of that front uh, I guess you call it a ski for lack of a better the natural slope of it needs to now I can now I can explain it the natural slope of this ski I'm not going to bring it up and around here I'm going to extend it on up maybe to about here and I think and and just far enough that it's got that much more room to uh, keep the nose from just sticking down in the water so and flipping over like it did that time so okay that's the uh, and I'm also that's where to... I'm going to stop that and then we'll go to the uh, third video and uh, Gary uh, Gary Waters uh, went home and I headed toward my home and uh, but I okay, wasn't I'm quite uh, starting... I wasn't quite ready to uh, uh, quit flying for the day so I went to uh, what we call it's the par 3 golf course here in Columbus and they've got a huge field and uh, this video uh, goes for uh, 12 minutes 11 seconds and of course tacked onto the rest of it so I'm gonna start that up and it speaks for itself okay I'm uh, starting another recording here another video uh, it's gonna be the it may be ill-advised but uh, I didn't go straight home uh, after we left Round Pond I'm over here at uh, the par 3 golf course and uh, I know that the, this the sea monkey. They say don't fly it in any uh, any wind over five mile an hour, and this is not over five. So I'm going to give it another shot, and uh, it's quite frankly, I'm just not quite ready to. I want to fly more this year, and let's see. I'm going to check it out. Of course the. The plane was upside down so in the water so but that still motor Gary said it's a being a brushless motor not a problem and rudder elevator everything works and let's see I want to make certain on okay low rates yeah I'm on low rates and give it a little hand launch here and uh, see how she goes. See, you gotta check to see which way the wind's coming. Uh. Okay, right straight into the wind. Not much wind there. As I'm backing up here, I uh, 
stumble a little bit, but I guarantee you I haven't been drinking. I just got kind of off balance a little bit. <laughs> there it is. I almost fell on the can. Uh, as you can see, when it goes into the wind, it almost comes to a dead standstill. It's a little touchy. The wind is really, really making it do crazy things. It definitely does not like any wind at all, and it would be much easier to fly. Much easier to fly without uh, without any wind. I did have a lot of fun flying it this afternoon. Actually, it was very late this afternoon. I had the camera sitting on my on the hood of, as you can see, in the le lower left of the frame, sitting on the hood of my uh, car. It's a fun little plane to fly, though. I just wish I could, without the wind, I wish I could, uh, I wish I could fly a little slower. But the wind is just not allowing me to do it. Although I'm going to back the throttle off and see what happens. can't back it off much because it, uh, the wind will take it right to the ground. But it, without any wind, this is that it's very maneuverable. It's just a fun, fun plane to fly. I didn't know I could, uh, I didn't know that it was going to be this much fun. And I might fly it more out at the field than I do down at the pond. Now right there is just a night, if in the, oh boy, the wind, wind took it. Oh, I had a close call with that tree that time. But look at that, that's just almost dead stopped. Okay. Uh, let's see, wind's coming at me, so I'm going to have to go around. Around. Back. Okay. I'm going to have to. Okay. There she goes. I'm going to, I'm not going to try to land it real close to me. I'm just going to make sure I land it nice and soft. There, it's coming down just like a dream. Yeah, it just settled down like a feather. Joe, you've got a real plane here. I'm just wishing I had one a long time ago. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, uh, I'm going to stop the video now, I guess. Uh, thank you, Joe. I uh, did, uh, did get the ESC. Appreciate that and the, the uh, stickers. As a matter of fact, I'll just go out here and we'll get, we'll get the plane... And, you can see up close all the the stickers that I put on it, and uh, and then a close up of how uh, the paint job and everything. But I uh, really like, I really do like enjoy flying this. It was it was uh, fun. Now the only thing that I am going to do is that the that front the front uh, fuselage the the uh, I guess you call it the pontoon, if you will, on the center of the plane, the fuselage. I'm going to extend that up a little bit because I did find that it was uh, at the pond with just a little bit of wind, it was uh, it was actually digging in and causing the nose to uh, causing the nose to uh, dig in and then the tail would flip up. But anyhow, uh, you can see the design, the the paint that I, paint scheme that I've got on it. And what I did was, 
every place where it was white, that was either two inch painter's tape or one inch masking tape. And so I put the tape where I wanted it and then painted the entire plane with this, uh, I got it at Hobby Lobby here in Columbus. It's a paint that they use, the florists I guess, are people that are uh, doing uh, little plants and things. It's a foam safe, a foam safe paint that uh, won't melt the, uh, when they stick the, when they stick the flowers, put the flowers in pots, it's that green foamy stuff that they stick it into. So then they paint it. They want to, they paint the, uh, sometimes use the paint to uh, make the basket, I guess, more colorful, colorful. And uh, then that, of course, that paint is, uh, won't uh, eat the foam up. So, but that's what it looks like uh, top side. So got uh, pretty much matching, got matching stripes, except up front I got two more stripes here than I do back in the back. And then on the underside, of course, the, the tail got the stripes on it. And the big number ones, that came from that came from, from some uh, Iron Cross, an Iron Cross decal set. And uh, I didn't know what I was going to do with the ones. I didn't want to put them on my other plane. And so I thought, man, that's a good place for them. So there and then uh, now here. Now I stopped the video right here to explain those ones. Uh, they were black. And what I did was uh, I masked them off uh, very carefully and then sprayed them with a day glow orange so that's that's how I got the the orange they started out black but I turned them into orange because I wanted the uh, I wanted the the, uh, the the ones to match the color of the prop and I'll explain in just a second here the prop was cut down and made out of a uh, much bigger slow fly prop uh, I had to do that because I damaged the original prop that came with the plane. So, okay, here goes the rest of the video. And it's, uh, we're up to 8.47, and this video ends at 12.11. So here we go. Here's the underside, the underside of the plane. I want to make sure I'm back far enough where you can actually see it. But that's, that's the design back here. There's one other thing that I didn't do not mention on the video. I did use uh, packing, the cellophane packing tape, on all of the uh, underside the surfaces that uh, end up touching the water. Or in the case of I, if I'm flying it out at the field or someplace else, if it comes down and lands on uh, asphalt or concrete, or even in the gravel, uh, it won't mark it up so much. Guys, it's kind of hard. To, I know it's kind of hard to see unless I get away from it a little bit. So that's. I'm pretty proud of it. And I'll flip it over and do a. Let you see this side of it from a little distance. Tuck the battery in there and put the cover, put the battery cover back on. That uh, orange prop, I actually the prop that came with the plane, I uh, I was messing around with the plane in my den and uh, it was a gray prop, and I was looking I was looking for a little nut that a screw that had fallen on the floor, and somehow I brushed against the uh, transmitter, it hit the throttle. And the plane was sitting over at the side, and uh, it nosed into the edge of my uh, desk and broke, and actually broke the uh, prop. So I, th this is I made this prop out of a much larger, a much larger slow fly prop. And what I did was I took uh, the original gray one that came on the plane, and I traced it, traced the uh, image on the much much larger orange slow fly the actual uh, prop when this when I started out the prop actually was about an inch longer 
on each each uh, radi each uh, side. And so, I mean, the, the whole prop is about two inches longer and much wider. But I traced around with that old with the gray propeller, and uh, then cut it, cut this out with the pair of uh, scissors, and then sanded it down and balanced it. So. Uh, it's just like the prop that uh, you, that you sent with the plane, the gray one. And I have since ordered uh, gray props. But anyhow, Joe, you've got a great plane here, and I certainly would recommend it to anybody. It's a it's a joy to fly, and I'm gonna be putting a lot of lot of time out, and uh, not so much more this year because the the uh, our stupid weather here in Columbus is uh, like right now. It's about 40, 42 degrees. And I'm uh, I'm freezing. So anyhow, that's that's going to be the end of the video. And again, Joe, thanks very much. Appreciate uh, the help you gave me when the ESC conked out on me and getting a new one to me right away. I do appreciate that, and uh, I'll be a customer of yours in the future. Uh, hope you had a good Thanksgiving, and uh, I wish you a, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And uh, we'll be uh, maybe we'll be seeing maybe we'll meet you sometime at a at a, uh, at a meet somewhere. Take care. Uh, see ya, and uh, happy flying. Goodbye now. Okay, that's the end of the video. And uh, like I said, I've uh, I've uh, put the three videos together to make it just uh, one one uh, one video. And uh, of course. Uh, the people that I send it to, I'm going to send emails out to a few people and I'll include the link to the single video which includes everything. So uh, that's it from Columbus, Indiana and uh, the zipkits.com sea monkey. Uh, like I said on the video, it is a really a good sweet plane to fly and a lo whole lot of fun. So uh, with that said, uh, I'm going to say it is it is uh, a little past nine o'clock in the evening, so uh, I'll say good night to you on a Sunday night. And I guess it's uh, who? What is it? The uh, it's November 29th. So uh, drive carefully, and hope you have uh, a uh, wonderful Christmas and uh, a healthy and uh, prosperous New Year. Goodbye now.